Hello, Bears fans. I'm Derek and welcome to another video. Edge rusher remains an area of need for the Chicago Bears, with pro bowler Montez Sweat the star of the group. In his annual preseason projections, ESPN's Mike Clay ranked Chicago's pass rushing unit 20th in the league out of 32 teams. While that's not awful, it's not great, either. In his weekly mailbag, Josh Schrock of NBC Sports was asked whether the team might be interested in bringing Yannick Ngaka back, or whether they might be interested in the likes of Justin Houston or Carl Lawson. Several points were analyzed and a great addition for the Bears in place of Yannick Ngaku. Let's check it out in this video. First, my friends, can I ask you a favor? If you like what we're doing here, show your support by clicking the like button. It's a great way to help us. Thank you for your support. Lawson is a hard case to judge, Schrock wrote on July 19th. He tore his Achilles in 2021 but returned and was effective in 2022, 49 pressures, 8 sacks, 14.3 win percentage. He didn't play much in 2023 as the Jets had a logjam at pass rusher and were content to move on from him. I don't know what Lawson's medicals look like, but he's an intriguing option and I would consider him instead of Ngaku. Regardless, the Bears need help on the defensive line and it needs to arrive yesterday. If he's healthy, Carl Lawson could be a solid option as there aren't many free agents available after the Miami Dolphins signed Emmanuel Ogba. Lawson, who signed a $45 million deal with the New York Jets back in 2021, just turned 29 in June, and he has struggled to stay healthy in recent years. As Schrock noted, Lawson had a solid season in 2022, but a crowded Jets pass rusher room coupled with a back injury limited him to six games last season. He played just 101 snaps, all on defense, and finished with just five tackles. Still, when healthy during the 2019, 2020, and 2022 regular seasons, he missed his entire 2021 campaign due to a torn Achilles. He was disruptive, amassing 78 QB hits, 17.5 sacks, 19 tackles for loss, and three forced fumbles. The Bears need to consider Lawson's health status critically. If he can pass a thorough medical evaluation, Lawson could be a valuable addition to the team. His experience and proven track record, when healthy, make him a potential asset that can strengthen the Bears' defensive line. Would Lawson be a better fit in Chicago than Gaku? Ngaku had 22 tackles, 7 quarterback hits, and 4.0 sacks and 13 starts for Chicago in 2023. His season ended with 4 games remaining after he broke his ankle, and he has yet to re-sign with another team. He's familiar with head coach Matt Eberflus's defense, whereas Lawson is not. However, Lawson's potential upside could outweigh Ngaku's familiarity. The decision between the two may come down to the Bears' willingness to take a chance on Lawson's health and potential. Ngaku offers familiarity and a decent track record, but Lawson could provide a higher ceiling if he stays healthy. As the Bears navigate their options for strengthening their pass rush, the potential signing of Carl Lawson stands out as a strategic move with high potential rewards. His proven abilities, when healthy, can significantly boost the Bears' defensive capabilities. However, the decision hinges on his medical evaluation and the team's assessment of their current roster's potential. If you were Ryan Poles, would you hire Carl Lawson? Is he a better option than Yannick Ngaku? Who would you opt for? Leave it in the comments. Remember to leave your like and subscribe to the channel. Be another fan of our community and let's strengthen the bears. Until the next video.